Hello, N4HNH here with the Yesu FTDX10 in response to a question from one of my executive Patreons, Timothy. Executive Patreons and above, that is, Executive Patreon and VIP Patreons can request uh, videos of subject matter that um, they want covered, and they can also send private uh, messages to me with questions. And so uh, I'm going to address one of those. It's a great question. Uh, Timothy wants me to cover how do you create and playback pre-recorded messages with the uh, Yesu FTDX10. So uh, it's actually quite easy with this radio. The only thing you got to know is there's a slot right here. You can't see it because I've got the camera set to be able to see the screen, but there's an SD slot right here for an SD card. Not micro SD, but SD, although I actually, what I did was I bought the micro SD with an adapter. You have to have that plugged in. Beyond that, you just simply go into the menu. So here's how we do it. Uh, press the multi knob. You'll see the message right here, message. And you can store five messages. So I'm gonna grab the microphone here. You can't see it, it's off screen, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna decide to record one into memory. So which memory slot? I want memory one. CQ, CQ, this is November 4, Hotel, November Hotel. Now, it's done. If I want to play it back, I'm on a dummy load. CQ, CQ, this is November 4, Hotel, November Hotel. So there you go. That is for, uh, you know, sideband. Now, you can do the same thing for CW. Let me change to... Uh, CW frequency. And so now we'll do one for CW. The coolest thing about this is you don't even actually have a have to have a paddle plugged in. You can now like I showed it in the video about the FT891, you could program it in as well uh without the paddle. It's just easier with the Morse key um with the FT891, but wait till you see how you do it with this radio. Okay, pressing the multi knob again and again going into message, but you're going to notice it looks a little different now. Um, it's got these little symbols in there. Now, the first one normally will have a symbol in there too, but I've already recorded something in there, so that's why you don't see it. I'm going to overwrite it. It comes from Yesu with a couple pre programmed in just, you know, as samples. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in CQ Soda. So here we go. I'm going to press MEM and then one, and look at that, you get a keypad. So I'm just going to go CQ, space, CQ, space, CQ, space, SOTA for summits on the air, something that I'm involved in. And then I'll say DE, my call sign. Whoops, I messed up my call sign. There we go. There's a back button. And then my call sign again. And then a K. And then hit enter. Now, to, look at there, it already says CQ, CQ, CQ. So there's a little bit of a clue of what's in that memory slot. And to play it back. So there you have it. And you can you have up to five different slots, memory slots that you can store those in. Let me hit the back button. Now, um, one other thing you need to know when you want to actually play that back and and do it over the air, uh, transmitting, you're going to need to make sure that you have break in turned on. See right here, break in on. Now, if I go back in there and play that back, let me make sure I'm on the dummy load. I am. Um, and just so you can see the power out, I'm on, I normally leave my radio on SWR. I never, uh, never put it on power out unless I need to because I always want a quick indication if my SWR is okay. That's just the way I roll. I always leave my meter set to SWR on FT891, the FTDX 5000 MP, whatever radio I may be using. But I'm temporarily switching it over to power output so that you can see that it's going to transmit this time. So we go multi knob, message, and just tap the one.
So there you go. Now I'm gonna show you one other bonus about having the SD card plugged in. And for that, I'm gonna go back to the antenna and find a QSO. Okay, I've got all the usual suspects uh, under control here. 12 dB of attenuation, IPO, digital noise reduction. Narrowed my bandwidth a little bit, just knocking some of the noise floor down. Now, check this out. Multi-knob, record. Okay, now I'll go back to the dummy load so we don't hear them. And there's that recording. Now, uh, you may have noticed, let me, let me go back into the screen for a second and show you some options that you had here. Receive level, transmit level, that's how you can adjust up or down, they're set at 50%, uh, the level that it's going to record with. And I, I thought that the defaults uh, worked fine. So a lot of capabilities with this simply by plugging an SD card into that slot. Um, that's just great. In some radios in the past, uh, you had to pay extra for the ability to do the uh, recordings. So again, um, you know, I'll go back just so let's say I'm ready to go. I've got everything programmed in and I'm out on a, you know, I'm a POTA, SOTA, whatever I'm doing. And I want to start calling CQ. I just tap here, message, and... CQ, CQ, this is November 4, Hotel, November Hotel. So there you go. I mean, you could program in, you know, 5557597573 from N4 H&H. &H. I mean, you got five slots you can use on that. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful and informative, and thank you for the question, um, Timothy. And uh, again, executive Patreons and VIP Patreons, feel free to uh, uh, suggest videos. I can't promise when I'll get to them because I've got a little bit of a backlog, but I will do my best. Um, but uh, that is a privilege that you have as an executive Patreon. Okay, hey, thanks so much for watching, and if you'd like to become a Patreon, I'll put the uh, address here uh, on the video, it's www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. And, um, of course, you can help the channel out by liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And, hey, click the bell and you'll be notified when I upload the next video. Thanks for watching in 73 from N4HNH.